Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see an awesome Ultramarines force that we've recently completed. Stick around, we're going to have a look at these models in loads of detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, let's have a look at all the infantry from the force. There are 10 Tyrannic War Veterans and 5 Assault Terminators, which you can see all here in front of you. Um, let's start with the Terminators, just because obviously they're an iconic model from the 40k universe. Uh, Mike had a great time working on this project and all the models in this force. Uh, Ultra Marines are always fun to paint. And as you can see here, all the transfers and everything have been fully done on them as well. Uh, all the edging and highlighting done on all the armor panels and everything. Multiple highlighting done on all the uh, sort of uh, the greys on the Crux Terminatus. Uh, and all the metal work and the blacks as well as you can see they're all fully picked out the script on the uh, purity seals there as well uh, so that's just one of the terminators pull forward the sergeant from the squad looks like he's just swung at someone uh, obviously you've got the banner there as well with ultra written on it and you've obviously got all the transfers and everything added on him as well and as you can see there the distinctive red and white uh, sort of uh, sectioned helmet as well to, to note him as a sergeant so that's just him really really clean finish on these as well which is lovely uh, we've got another one of the terminators here with all the point of light source in the lenses on the eyes as you can see there as well and all the individual little lenses as well uh, just move these around so you can see a bit of a 360 lovely super sharp clean edge highlight on these as well with uh, little bits of bright points picked out as well on certain uh, sort of high catching light areas of armor paneling as well uh, so that's just another one. I'll pull forward the last two as well, just so you can see the whole squad. So he's just hulking forward there, as you can see, with his shield in a sort of guarding sort of position, uh, which is really nice. So that's just him. And then the last one, in a bit of a stance, just uh, bracing by the looks of it, as you can see here. Uh, just another one of the Terminators there, as you can see. So that's just the last one from the squad. Uh, then we'll pull forward the Tyrannic War Veterans. Uh, really cool models. This good dude's got a uh, bionic leg there, as you can see. All the lenses and everything fully picked out. All the script and everything done on the purity seals there, as you can see as well, which is really nice. Uh, every single lens all fully highlighted there. Little buttons and things also done. Little cables like on the back of the bionic leg there all picked out as well. Uh, nice complementary colour of the red for the straps of the bolters as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just one of them. Uh, and we'll pull forward one of the sergeants from the squad. Again, you can see that lovely, lovely uh, red and white uh, helmet to denote him as a sergeant as well there. Just move him around so you can see all the lenses and everything fully picked out and a lovely complementary green to the red. Uh, as well, so that's just him. He's got a really cool U on him with some studs on it as well. I didn't notice that before on the model. And then uh, all loads of grenades uh, on him, as you can see, they're all picked out and highlighted, as well as the pouches and the leather work as well. So that's just the sergeant. Uh, and pull forward a few more. So you can see this guy's shouting away with all his teeth and eyes all fully picked out there. About to throw a grenade into someone uh, and give him a bad day. Uh, again, you've got all the purity seals fully picked out with writing as well, which is really nice. All the lenses and everything fully highlighted and picked out. And again, he's got a uh, tyrannic uh, war veteran symbol on his shoulder pad as well there, which is really cool. So that's just him. It's lots of scars on his face as well. And then we'll pull forward another one from the squad. As you can see here, he's shooting away there. Again, all his eyes, teeth and everything fully picked out. You've got all the sort of uh, purity seals again. Lovely knife here with a tyrannic sort of skull on it on the pommel as well, which is really cool. Uh, and again, firing away loads of grenades and a really cool knife that's a bit pitted and damaged there as you can see which is really cool so that's just him uh, now obviously the second squad being a, uh, a fine cast unit they have uh, much of the same so again we've got the same similar sort of poses there's not that much variation in poses in the squad unfortunately but you still painted exactly the same consistency so you can see all the areas of detail work fully highlighted fully picked out on them as well i'll pull forward a few of them just so you can see there's two actually throwing a grenade in the squad on the right as you can see, but Mike's done a stellar job just matching them really nicely uh, throughout the force and giving them a really solid consistency throughout the commission and also this phase. Uh, so that's just another one shooting there, as you can see. Uh, so that's just the infantry from the squads. Up next, we've got the uh, transports, uh, drop pods, and also the storm ravens. So stick around, that's coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. Up next we have the Razorbacks slash Rhinos from this force. Now just as a quick addendum or notes for this, if you guys watching this, all the doors and all the aspects of the models are loose because our client wants flexibility at his end. Uh, so if you see doors off the sides or the back door opens and stuff, that's been asked for by the client. So just to cover that first and foremost. So we'll pull forward uh, the first Razorback here. You can see all the edge highlighting picked out on all those armor panels. You've got every single button and light all fully picked out and painted. All the lenses, absolutely everything ultra written on the front there. The uh, lenses on the component 
Polar all picked out with point and light source and some highlighting and blending as well. Uh, now obviously the Razorback turrets come off as well as you can see here, but all those gems and lenses all there picked out as well. Uh, and then if we take the turret off, you can take this top plate off as well, just to show you can remove that. And the inside, Mike's painted every single button and dial and lens and all those bits in there as well. And obviously the back door opens as per the request of our client. But what we can do is then get the uh, one of the Rhino plate tops and it instantaneously obviously becomes a Rhino. I think these are being left off so that you can make them predators if need be down the line. Uh, but again, really cool that obviously we've just made it completely customizable and use the full amount of the kit. So that's just one of the uh, the Razorbacks and they're exactly the same, all three of them, so you can take all of them off. I will just put this guy back together really quickly uh, just so you guys can see them in a finishing shot all the same again. Uh, so that's just the one there on the right. I'll pull them forward so you can have a look. They're all exactly the same. Uh, every bit of detail work fully picked out, fully highlighted, and all the attention that's been put on them lavishly through all the areas. Again, really, really cool. Uh, Rhino's lasted a long time. Uh, personally, one of my favourite kits, I think, that Games Workshop's ever done just because of how flexible it is and uh, how long it's endured. Uh, again, another one here. Really, really cool model. And uh, Mike's had a great time at working on this. Up next, we're going to have a look at the Storm Raven and the Drop Pods from the Force. Do stick around, they're coming up shortly. See you guys back in a sec. So last up, let's have a look at the Storm Raven and also the two drop pods, uh, which this force contains. We'll pull forward the drop pods first and leave the Storm Raven till last. Uh, but Mike's done a really cool thing on the drop pods and put all the detail on all the little screens and lenses and bits and bobs on them as well, which is really cool. As you can see, all the pipes and all the buttons and dials and everything fully picked out. Loads of chevrons on it, as you can see. I really like all these little lights and lenses all picked out and pipes and things. Uh, those extra little details really make the model come to life. Uh, so this is just one of the drop pods that you can see here. So that's just the, that one on the right. Uh, exactly the same on the other drop pod, but I will put it forward just to show you the consistency between all of the models uh, in the force that you can see. Uh, again, really, really nice finish on all of these. So that's just the other drop pod. And then we'll pull forward the uh, the big boy of the force, which is the Storm Raven. Really, really cool model uh, with all of the uh, transfers and everything fully done, all the edging done on all the armor panels, all the lenses and everything all fully picked out. Out there the lights and everything as you can see pilot all picked out in the cockpit as well uh, and obviously you've got all the extra weapons and everything for this as well which is really really cool so that's just the storm raven really cool kit it's lasted the test of time uh, and all the little individual details if we turn upside down you can see even the lights on the little switches and things here have been picked out as well which is a really nice little touch uh, just to add that realism to the model uh, so that's the storm raven from the force i do hope you uh, you like those uh, thanks for watching this section of the video guys up next we're going to see the force in all its glory again together I'll see you guys back in a second. Thanks for checking the video out guys. I do hope you have liked this Ultramarines Force which we've recently completed. Uh, if you are interested in a commission then very simply all you need to do is go to our website which is linked along with all of our social media in the description of this video. Head to the website, onto the contact tab, there is a contact form with various drop down options and a message section. Select the options that are relevant to you from the drop down options, include in the message section a list of models in our format which is listed on there and we'll fire that off to us to get the process started. Uh, while you're here on YouTube, do help us out and give us a subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all the things that we're doing here in the studio on YouTube. And secondly as well, hit that bell icon so you always get updated when a new video goes live on our channel. As always, thank you ever so much for watching the video, guys. Really appreciate it greatly, and I do hope you've liked the video. See you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.